So today's video is going to be a foundation review. I got this bad boy in the mail. Ugh. This is the new Wet n Wild Do It Photo Focus Dewy Foundation. And I got really excited when I saw this in the mail because number one, I have very dry skin, as you know, and I love dewy anything. I love trying out dewy foundations, but also because their Photo Focus Foundation, their regular one, is like a top seller. Everybody loves it. And I actually, I own it and I really like it as well. I don't use it that often, but I do really like it. I love the finish and I do feel like it lasts a really long time on my skin and it doesn't make my skin look dry at all. It has a really nice finish. So when they launch this dewy version. I got really really excited. I'm hoping it kind of has a similar vibe, but obviously more dewy So I'm gonna be testing this foundation out for you guys and I can't wear it all day because it's already 5 p.m And I usually start my foundation reviews sooner earlier in the day, but today's been a rough day I haven't been home all day. We've been out doing things. I know I mentioned this on Saturday, but um, Danny's grandma actually did pass away on Friday. And as I'm sure you guys know, the days after someone passes are always the hardest. You have to make all these arrangements and it's just been a rough, a really rough week for the family. So obviously I haven't been able to sit down and film. I actually just came back a little while ago from spending time with the family and um, I got this in the mail and I thought, you know what? It's not too late. Let me sit down and at least film a little foundation review for you guys. I want to test this out on camera and give you my initial first impressions. And you guys know, I love those. I'm so good at them. I'm also going to be doing just like my current everyday makeup routine. This is literally what I've been wearing every single day. Since I had been remodeling my beauty room, all of my makeup was in boxes and then life started happening. So I, I didn't get a chance to really organize all my makeup. So I've been using like the same products every day for like the past week or two. So I'm gonna be doing that for you guys today. I never know what shade I am in Wet n Wild foundations. They always have the strangest undertones, I think. I think I'm soft beige. Do I look like a soft beige to you? I don't know. I'm gonna go with soft beige. This new foundation launch also comes with a new primer launch. This is the Wet n Wild Prime Focus Primer Serum. It's their new hydrating serum. It comes with a little dropper like this. And this says it's a weightless, ultra hydrating water based serum that preps, primes, and refines skin for a flawless and longer lasting makeup application. This honestly feels like you're just rubbing water on your face. It doesn't really fear, fear, <laughs> it doesn't really feel serum y. It's very, very lightweight. I agree, it's very weightless. I think that's enough. I never know how much is too much, you know? But I think that's good. I do feel a little bit of tackiness, like, ever so slightly, which I like. Feels very hydrating so far. <laughs> and now I'm gonna take my Love is the Foundation brush from It Cosmetics. And you already know, I do one side of my face with a brush and the other side of my face with a sponge. This is a beauty blender. And we'll see which side I like more. So I'm gonna take the shade Soft Beige. I think this is my color. Oh, that seems like a good match. I don't know how much I need. I always feel weird about these spatulas though. Ah! I'll get that later, I'll get that later. Oh, it's like on my skin now. It's gone through the shirt. Okay, that's fine. I just washed this shirt this morning, <laughs> it's fine. Question, do you guys wash your, <laughs> random, but do you guys wash your clothes every single time you wear it? Like if you wear a shirt one time, okay, and you don't get it that dirty, do you wear it again or do you have to wash your clothes every time you wear them? Curious to know. I, for one, like if my shirt's not dirty, I'm gonna keep wearing it. You know what I'm saying? I'm applying more, by the way. I wanna do like another layer here. I applied a lot more, by the way. But like, if my shirt is not dirty, okay? I'm gonna keep wearing it. Obviously not like three or four times in a row, but I'm gonna wear a shirt twice if I didn't get dirty the first time, okay? And there's no shame in that. Can't stop thinking about the foundation on my boob right now. Can't stop thinking about it. Can't stop thinking about it. Okay, so this is what my face looks like with the foundation on only half of my face. All by its sleep. I zoomed you in so you can see the coverage, what it looks like compared to this side of my face. The coverage is really nice. I mean, I did apply another layer because I did feel like the coverage wasn't enough. I needed a little bit more. But once I built it up, it looks really good. I would say it has like medium coverage. And the finish is really nice. It is very dewy, looks nice and hydrating. And that finish is 100% coming from the foundation and not the primer. Because as you can see, I have the primer on my skin right here. And even though my skin looks a little bit shiny, it's still not like super dewy and luminous. That dew, that glow that you see is coming from the foundation for sure. All right, and now I'm gonna apply it with my beauty blender. Do you guys watch Friends? I have Phoebe's song, Little Black Curly Hair, <laughs> 
stuck in my head. Oh my god, I can't stop singing it. Little black curly hair. Little black curly hair. <laughs> Little black, little black, little black, little black, little black curly hair. I thought it was gonna start blending out really sheer with this sponge, but it's not. I feel like it's maintaining coverage. The sponge isn't soaking it up too much. I like it. Gonna add a little bit more just to be even. Okay, so looking at my face, I actually prefer the side with the beauty blender. I mean, I'm not shocked or anything, but these days I love applying my foundation with a brush. You guys know, this brush is my best friend. But I don't know if it's because I applied too much on the second layer on this side, but this side of my face just looks more skin-like. It looks more natural. I was noticing here on this side, the foundation looks a little heavy on the crevices here of my nose, while on this side it looks a lot more natural, and it just looks like skin. This side of my face just looks like skin. I mean, this looks like skin too, but you can tell that I'm wearing foundation a little bit. This side just looks flawlessly natural. I don't know, I really, really like how it looks. So I'm just gonna take my beauty blender, I'm just gonna bounce that right into my skin, just in case I do have excess foundation on this side. This foundation is really, really pretty though. I do feel like it's very, very similar to the original formula, but it has a slight sheen to it. I really, really like how this looks. So let me zoom you in. And this is two layers of the foundation. I will say something I'm noticing. If you have larger pores, and you're gonna use this foundation, I would suggest using a pore filling primer before going in with this, just because I am noticing it sink into my pores just a little bit, and I feel like if that's a trouble area for you, you might struggle with that. But besides that, I think the finish is really, really nice. It almost feels completely dry. It has a slight tackiness, but nothing that bothers me. Like, I would never need to set this, ever. It has a really nice finish, and it looks dewier than it feels, which I always prefer, and I'm kind of getting the feeling of this. At least right now, I just put it on. I have to wear it throughout the day. I kind of already see it sinking into my lines just a little bit. I mean, it is what it is. So yeah, so far, so good. Those are my first impressions. I like it. I'm going to pop on some concealer. I have been using the Makeup Forever Ultra HD concealer every single day, and I actually haven't been setting this either. I say either because I've been wearing my Dose of Colors uh, Meet Your Hue concealer, and I never set it. And this one is actually a really nice formula that you don't really need to set that much either. It's not as flawless as the Dose of Colors one. I still prefer that one, but this one is really nice as well. Gosh, my eyes are so like red and itchy from being sick, from crying, from <laughs> just living life. These days have been so gloomy. I mean, besides the things that I'm going through, just things that are happening in the world and things that have happened these past couple days, it just, I'm in the worst funk, man. It's crazy. Life really has so many ups and downs. It's wild, honestly. I'm really, really, really excited about Serendipity launching. That is our new shade at Lights Lacquer. When you are watching this video, it would have already launched, so that is super exciting. I've been getting a lot of questions about it, actually. A lot of you guys have been asking me if it's similar to Ace from KO Polish, and it actually is. It's very similar to Ace, but it is slightly different, which is why I didn't name it Ace, because it does have a slight pink undertone, and Ace is more of like a fire truck true red. This one is slightly pinky. It's a little bit more Valentine's Day-y, but it is very, very, very similar to Ace, just in case you guys were wondering, which I did want to mention because a lot of you guys were asking me. Um, Serendipity is also a limited edition nail polish, so once it sells out, it is gone, gone, gone. No more Serendipity after that, which is such a bummer. <laughs> you know, I always like make limited edition shades, and I always commit to them, because when I say something is limited edition, I mean it, like it is limited edition, okay? But every time I make those commitments, I get really sad because I wanna keep shades forever. And I love that color so much. It's like so romantic, perfect for Valentine's Day. I love it. I'm actually, I'm not wearing it right now. I should be, I'm gonna go do my nails and I'm gonna paint my nails with serendipity. But I went full on Aquarius for my nails. I wanted to get like a birthday manicure. My birthday was on Monday and I just wanted to do something like celestially and Aquarius-y and yeah. 
these are the nails I came up with. <laughs> anyway, I'm wearing the Fenty Beauty Shady Biz Sunstalker bronzer. I've been wearing this bronzer like crazy these past few days because this actually has such a smooth, buttery formula that I find that it works beautifully like on bare skin. Some bronzers, you cannot wear them like on your bare skin because they look muddy, the formula is like too chalky, I don't know what it is. But this formula is so buttery smooth that it just never looks chalky or weird or muddy or skippy on your skin when you don't have any foundation on, like it always looks really nice. And these past few days, I haven't really been wearing foundation. I've just been wearing concealer and then the rest of the stuff. I've been skipping foundation. So I love this bronzer for that. I wanna try the new Fenty Beauty setting spray so bad. I cannot wait to get my hands on it. For blush, I have been using this blush every single day. This is the Physicians Formula Butter Blush in the shade Vintage Rose. It is so pretty. It's so creamy and buttery. And it just has a really, really nice formula. And I love how oh, I left my freaking blush brush again downstairs this happened to me in my last video but i love this brush because this blush because it just makes your cheeks look so rosy like you were just kissed by the sun so romantic i love this color So for highlight, I'm going in with the Jaclyn Hill, the Flash Palette. I have been using this one a lot recently because I had my PR kit set off to the side while I was packing up all my makeup and I forgot to take out a highlight. So I saw this sitting there and I was like, oh my gosh, my Jaclyn Hill highlights. And I love these, these are so pretty. I'm going to use one of these. I really, really like this shade here called Iced. I'm gonna pop that on. So I really like how everything applied on my skin. Everything looks nice and smooth. I'm dewy, I'm hydrated, I feel it, but I don't feel it. I really like this finish so far. I'm going to do my eye makeup really quick. I've been using the Amrezy palette non-stop recently, specifically the shade OG. It's like my favorite. I like rubbing OG all over my lids, like with a soft, fluffy brush, and then wearing 1988 really close to my lashes and then throwing on some mascara like that. I've been doing that like every single... I forgot about my freaking eyeshadow that was broken. Why would I hold this like this? I have Gorgina all over my table. I'm gonna clean this up and then I'm gonna get to the eyes. Okay, so the eyes are completely done. Like I said, I've been doing this like every single day. It's the simplest eye look, but I feel like it's so pretty too. It's like the perfect everyday eye. So far, the foundation is looking really nice, by the way. I haven't noticed it sinking into my lines like any more than it was like 10 minutes ago, so that's good. My skin looks really pretty. Everything looks really nice on top. I am really liking it so far. I'm gonna throw on the Dose of Colors Truffle Lip Liner. This is one of their new lip liners. It's so pretty, I love truffle. On top of that, I'm gonna apply this Revlon lipstick that I just bought. And let me tell you, when I got this in the mail, like I bought it online at Ulta, and then when I got it in the mail and I opened the package, I was like, wow, Revlon? This feels like really heavy. I don't know, it feels like really fancy. It's really nice packaging. And this is their new 
um, super lustrous lipstick in the shade Nude Illuminator. But it's a really pretty sheer, like rosy color. So I'm gonna pop that on top of the Truffle Lip Liner. Lipstick is so nice and it smells it smells good. Wow. I'm shocked. Usually like drugstore lipsticks don't smell the best. No shade to the drugstore. They just it's a thing. They've been getting better. That smells nice. But um okay guys, that's it. I'm done. <laughs> I just wanted to pop on here and give you guys my first impressions on the new Wet n Wild Photo Focus Foundation, the Louis. The Louis, the dewy version. And honestly, so far so good. Obviously I have to test it out a little bit more. I have to wear it throughout the day. I'll try it on tomorrow morning and I'll wear it throughout the day and I'll see how it goes. But so far so good. It feels really nice on the skin. Like honestly, it doesn't even, like my face feels completely set right now, but it still looks nice and hydrating like on my forehead and around my nose here. Like my skin doesn't look dry at all. In fact, it looks nice and hydrated, I would say. I really, really like this finish so far. I like it. This is a good first impressions. A plus for me so far. But anyway, guys, um, that completes this video. I, I have no words. I have, at this point, it's like I have a thousand excuses. I keep telling you a million excuses in every single video, and I, I have nothing else to say at this point. I, I don't know what else to say at this point. Just uh, hang in there, please bear with me. But anyway, guys, that completes this video. I love you so, so much. Thank you guys so much for watching. Please subscribe if you haven't already, and I will see you in my next video. Bye.